All right. In my last two videos, I tested the Boss IR200. And I have to admit, I was really disappointed with the quality of the convolution. So when I received the TC Electronic Impulse IR loader, um, I wanted to repeat those tests. So I took the impulse responses from my last video. I shortened them to 200 milliseconds. And now let's see what's, what's the result. So I pre-recorded a short sample with the guitar. Here it is without convolution. Now I select the first test file and I select the same test file, it's test 3, and now you can hear the sample convoluted with Reverberate Core, which I use as reference. Now I deactivate the plugin and I switch on the TC and let's listen to it. Now I'm going to switch back and forth between the TC electronic and the reverberate core plugin. That's great. So let's go to the next test file. I select here test five and I switch to the next. Yes. And just uh, go back and forth. I start again with the reverberate core plugin. <laughs> Great, great. So the last impulse response caused really extreme artifact. You can hear it in my last video. And so I'm really curious about this one. Again, I start with the plugin. <laughs> Here I think I can can hear a, a little difference, but I, maybe it's just because one is a little bit louder. So for me, that's really great uh, results. I, I cannot hear any of those annoying artifacts from the Boss IR200. So uh, I'm going to perform uh, additional tests and, and make other videos about this topic, but I, I'm really pleased with the DC electronic impulse loader. So uh, stay tuned. And thanks for watching.